In this video, I want to show you how to make a Power BI report that'll be by week, by month, by day, by year, by quarter, and those kind of things. So here's a typical report. We have, um, we have the orders table and we have the customers table. So I'd like to see a report by uh, sales by company name. Let's do a simple report first. So we'll go back to the report tab over here. And let's say I'll go with the, um, the bar stack bar chart. And actually I'm going to make it a, um, the cluster bar. Good. All right. So let's expand that. So we're going to add the data in there. We'll pick on the co company name from the customer's table, pick up company name and drag it to the axis, which is going to be the rows going across. Good. Uh, so let's pull a uh, the order amount from the orders table and drag it to the values right there. So now we have a quick report that is um, going to show by company their sales, and then we're going to add the uh, the data label. So I'll pick on the the paintbrush over here, the paint roller, and we'll turn the data labels on. Good. So that was a pretty quick and simple report. Now let's see how we're going to make it be by, by month or by year or by quarter or by week. So what we'll do is we'll use the order date from the orders table. Let's go back to the fields over here and I'll pick up the order date and drag it into the legend, which is basically the columns going across. Okay. So when we first did that, it gave it to us by individual date. So let me give you some options about that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the, uh, the pull down where it says order date. Now you can try when it's called date hierarchy. And then that did it by year. All right. So right away, when I picked on date hierarchy right there, now each company is broken down by the year and you can see the legend up there. If I want to see the data, I'll pick on the three dots and I'll pick on show data. And then we have it broken down by customer by year. So that one's not so bad. Let's continue on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go back to the report here. Now let's see some other options that I have. I'm going to remove that order date field from the legend. And I'm going to put it back, pick up order date and drag it back to the legend again right there. Here's some more options that you might have. I'm going to click on that pull down where it says order date. And uh, we're going to add a group here. The one I just did was called date hierarchy, but let's do a new group. Now the group can do it by month and we could do it by month, year, day, hour, minute, or a second. Well, month and year is obviously built right in. That's what month uh, looks like. Then, uh, of course I would make this bigger, but now we have it broken down by month. And then, you know, you pick the appropriate chart type. Um, but let's, let's take a look at the actual data. So if I put in the three dots and say show data, now I have it broken down by company by month. Okay. Let's see some other options. So the person who asked me the question said, can we also do it by quarter? So I'm going to click on the, um, the date again, and we're going to say edit the group. So what you do is you change this over here. If I want it a quarter, think about that. That's going to be three months. So we'll do three months. We'll pick on OK. And now notice the date ranges, October 98, January 99, April 99. So then I broke it down by quarter. Let's see what that looks like with the data. Good. Right? Uh, so now what if I wanted it by week? Uh, let's go back and do that. We're going to click on the pull down for the date. We'll pick on edit groups. So of course that would be days. Of course I could do it by individual day, but somebody asked for a week. So then I will make the group bin size be seven days. Let's see what that does for us. Okay. Now look at the date ranges. You see, we have it by week. And of course you pick the appropriate chart type. That would be the one that you want to use. You know, this is kind of interesting. That's, that's the, uh, that's a new chart that is becoming pretty popular. The, uh, the tree map. 
but you find one of these that you like. And then uh, let's go ahead and get the three dots and we put them in the show data. Now we have it broken down by company by week. So the key to making it by, by day or by month is to add a date field specifically into the legend of the report. Once you do that, you can click in the pull down and then you can um, use the groups. Here in the groups, uh, I did seven days, which is really a week, right? Or we could do it by year, month. Then I picked on three months. That was a quarter, of course, right? Uh, we could do it by day, hour, minute, or second. And then, of course, you can, you know, let's say if you wanted to do it by hour um, or minutes, if I wanted to do a half hour, I'd pick on minutes and pick on 30 over that, right? Or if you wanted to do half a day, I would pick on uh, days and pick on, uh, I mean, hours and pick on 12. So you can configure those any way you wanted to. And then the other thing that we did was uh, I'm going to remove that date field. I'll move the date field right back onto there. And then I'm going to click in the pull down and I said date hierarchy and that's automatically going to do it by year. So hopefully you got some good ideas of how to make a Power BI report show by month, by quarter, by year, or by day, or by some of the other options that we talked about.